the man who taught me what love looked like, mm. he just got married not so long ago. <laughs> oh! But the reason why we didn't work out is because he was broke. Huh? Damn. Well, his wife now is fine with that. He worshiped the ground I walked on. But and he taught me patience and he taught me he really taught me how to damn that love me. But taught me how to cook. But he was chasing a dream of being a musician. He wanted to be a singer mm -hmm. in a boy group. Mm -hmm. I supported that everything. But I'm like, he had two kids. And I'm just like, you do need to support yourself. Like, you yeah. need to make some type of money. He was getting like a $50, $100 allowance from his manager. You know what? I'm going to say this. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I bet if he was a pookie, she would date him. Leave a comment if you agree. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're gonna do before we get into anything. Say it with me y'all, we're gonna roll that clip. I was like, drive a piece of her at night, I don't care. Just so is he still money. trying to chase this musician dream? Mm -hmm. He just found the woman for him. Okay, so it didn't work out financially wise. Everything else, if he if he but, had the money, would it have worked out? Yes. Okay. It would have. And if I would have met him today, mm -hmm. it would work out. What's the difference? The difference is I was broke too at the time. Mm -hmm. Like I was barely making it by myself. And so I was like, I feel like I don't want a man in my house. And we right. both, like, I just, that don't make my vagina wet. You uh -huh. feel me? Like that don't make me, that don't turn me on. Okay, so now that. since you're good for yourself, okay. yeah, financially, yeah. you're saying now it would have worked. So you're saying you wouldn't have mind supporting him. Now I could appreciate the love that he brings. <laughs> <laughs> but I still don't want him to be broke. But it's everything with him is still going to be the same. You have money now, but everything with him is still going to be the same. You so know what? Then maybe I lied. I, I know you <laughs> lied. I was ready to pull it out of you. Because this. I want men. Come, come here. I want you to understand that this woman is no different than the average modern woman. You see, most of the women that are on the dating market. They're just after a man's money. Money, money, money. They're not like other races and other groups of women that will support their man, stand by their man, do with their man, be with their man. Listen to what she's saying. She wanted to lie and say, oh, well, if things would be different if I had money, you're saying now it would have worked. So you're saying you wouldn't have mind supporting him. Now I could appreciate the love that he brings. But he's broke. But you were broke too. Yep. Not only that, let's follow the story. He's still following his dream. Maybe he needed that extra punch. Maybe he needed that extra support. See, this is the difference between building with the man and struggling with the man. Back in the day, our grandparents and our great grandparents, they didn't have much, but they made ends meet. They supported each other. They loved each other. They stood by each other. When the weather and the storms of relationships came, they didn't break up. Nowadays, women will leave you if you go broke. A woman will drop you like a bad habit if you can't pay the bill. We've all been there. I've been there. You've been there. This is the reason why men don't want to date modern women, and modern women are complete garbage. This woman wouldn't date a broke man. I believe she would date a pookie. Because this was a good guy. Like, he showed her how to be loved. He showed her what love really is. He treated her right. So he wasn't a pookie. He was a decent guy. But because she and every other modern woman is consistently 
and conditioned to chase after the bad guys. Hence, we have the reason why she's single and he's married. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Go back to my other video that's linked right here. Go back and watch this video. The last video I did covered the same thing. A woman that had it all and gave it all up so she could have fun. This woman could be married. Most women in this generation are not going to get married because they don't know how. They don't know how to be a wife. They know how to be a baby mom. They know how to give a pookie and Ray Ray some kids. They know how to live in trauma. They know how to fight with their man, be disrespectful. That's all they know how to do. This is the reason why I'll say it before and I'll say it again. This is the reason why black women are losing on the dating market. You're the most divorced and the least married. You would rather marry and date a pookie than to marry and date a decent man. What was wrong with this man? Oh, wait. He was boring, right? He didn't have a decent personality. He was corny. He was nerdy. He was a geek. He was a loser. He didn't check off all of those boxes that a lot of modern women want a man to check off. In reality, there was nothing wrong with this guy. There was more wrong with you. That's the reason why he's married and you're not. Yep. And a lot of women are going to live out the story. I divorced my husband. He remarried. I left my boyfriend. Now he's married. I left my significant other. He's doing better than me. You don't know when to keep a good thing together. Women like this would rather listen to Sexy Red and talk about Pound Town than to have a good man. And then you wonder why a lot of you women are basking in your masculine energy. You're too masculine. You're too rough. You're too tough. You're not feminine. You don't even know how to be a lady. And then you wonder why nobody wants you. You get nothing. You lose. Nobody wants you because you don't even want you. You aren't even comfortable in your own skin. You want to wear fake nails, fake lips, fake butt, fake boobs, fake body. You want a real man, but we can't even get a real woman. Why is that? Why do you have to be ashamed to wear your natural hair, ladies? Why do you have to be ashamed to wear your natural skin? To put on cakes and cakes and cakes and cakes of makeup? To look good? To get fake BBLs? When real men say they want natural women. This all ties together, but at the end of the day, it's self-hatred. How can a man love you if you don't even love yourself? How can a man treat you right when half of you don't even know what that looks like? Oh! And it all goes back to being a modern woman. Oh! Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell so you know when I upload content. This Wednesday night, I will be live 6.30 p.m. where we're going to be talking about is submission slavery. I want the ladies to chime in. If you think submission is slavery, call into the show. We want your voice to be heard. And until the next video, peace.